Like not, you went to Texas? Tennessee. What's the, that's so far. What did you go to Tennessee for? I went to Nice. How'd you do? I did. Okay. You got suspended on Xbox. I don't even know what that means. Layla, what'd you do? What'd you do? So, equine to me seems like, well, it doesn't seem like, I think it is. It's one of those hobbies where you have to commit to, like, spending a decent amount of money. Oh, yeah, I actually buy those juice every year. Wow. Because you grow out of them really fast. Well, eventually you'll stop growing. Yeah. 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 It's like climbing shoes all the time. Well, I feel you. Yeah. My cat made a hair hole. That's not good. Is it okay? <laughs> we don't know yet. Eat a hair holder. It'll probably be fun. Cats can fly. My cat used to like to eat the ribbon. Yeah. Eat the what? Yeah. What? What? Or to a Ford Wild. Well, that joke about people being poor isn't exactly polite. All right, ladies and gents, um, for today, um, I'm mainly going to see um, how good you guys are doing by you guys working together and seeing if you can process through these problems. So, last week, and you know, the book says in the last section, but we know it's just last week, we were hypothesizing different situations, right? In some situations, we said one mat was bigger than the other. In some situations, we let the mat be equal to each other. But who can tell me the main rule that we use here? And I can't just tell me the name. you got to tell me what the rule tells us that lets us do this fancy stuff called algebra. What's that rule that allows us to do algebra? It's the blank, blank, or blank. Oh. The what, Joey? The blah. blah what? Kevin? Yeah, we work with variables, but there's this property that we talked about. Kevin? Blah property of what? So, I need you on your notes to write down real quick. Um, you can just write like a blank line if you want. Property of equality to remind yourselves, because guys, we should be able to pull that out of our brain. You on a test will be asked, what allows us to do this? We can plug in any word there. So we could add, we could subtract. We could multiply, we could divide, we can even square root, and you don't even know how to do that yet. But we could. Here, I'll teach you real fast. The square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. So the square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 equals 16. There are no perfect squares between 9 and 16, because the numbers don't work nicely with each other. But like 5 times itself makes... 25, so the square root of 25 is 5. There you go. That's how you square root. So, let's look at this situation. We need to choose a pricing plan. Good morning, Phoenix. Please pardon the interruption. Just a reminder that Phoenix Snowboard Club is canceled for today. Thank you for your patience. Please wait for your next question. All right, Sandeep works at a bowling alley that currently charges players $3 to rent shoes, $4 per game. However, his boss is thinking about changing this model to $11 to rent your shoes, but then dropping the price per game to $2. So if a customer rents shoes and plays two games, in which pricing model will he pay the least? Like, which would be a better deal? 
And then, I have customer bowl seven games, which is cheaper. I'm going to extend the challenge you and add like a C on there. At what amount of games, or is there an amount of games, that these pricing models are equal? So we're working through how much would they pay for each of these models if they play two games, seven games, and can we solve when they would be equal? Let's try it. Working with your partners or whatever. We're just diving in and seeing can we set up the expression or the equation for the price for the current plan, the new plan, and then solve from there. I'm going to put this up on the TV so I can start writing a couple things. I gotta fix my board real quick. The 
new and why? Um, Yeah, 2 times 7 gives me 14, and then plus 11, 25. 7 times 4 is already more than that. Right, so then, if we're going to try to find a situation where they are equal to each other, how could I set this up on our paper to write out the work and do some of that algebra? To solve it. Adrian? I don't want the answer. I want the path. Really, I don't care about the answer. I care about the path. How could I write the current model as a math expression for any number of things that I want to plug in? Any volunteers to write that model? Adrian, do you think you got it? Ooh, not just x, 3 plus 4 times x, right, the $4 per game, that's what we multiply the number of games with, so then we're going to hypothesize when is it equal to, how do I write the other expression, well, how many times do I buy shoes, once, I only pay for that once, so the 11 is a constant, I only pay for that once, plus 2 times x. If X is my amount of games. We're just paying for ourselves. Yeah, we're just paying for ourselves. So then, if I want to do, so everyone please make sure you have this written down. Sorry that my 11 looks kind of goofy and I should never rewrite that because of that. Any questions on how we get to this? Like the expressions where X represents the number of games because we don't know exactly how many games we're going to play. Question. So then, if you haven't solved this yet, take 30 seconds to try to solve this. Do the algebra, take stuff away or combine stuff. Try to figure out what one X is equal to. Uh, this is kind of part C now that I have. All right, we got to turn our brains back on, right? Because it's Monday. We forget what we did last week. The blah property of equality tells me I'm allowed to do anything I want as long as I do it on both sides. Guy, you know what I can do? I can. I subtract 3 from each of the sides. Now my left side is just 4x equals, um, now my right side's 8 plus 2x. Then I subtract 2x because I want to get the x's off of this side. Guys, please make sure you're writing this down and showing the work between the steps. I'm going to pause for a second. Make sure you have plenty of time to write this down. Because guys, this is what we're like doing now in our homework. Is the, pretty much the entire next test is this. It's solve equations, figure out what variable is equal, or last week, one of the ranges of variable with the boundary points. This, because we made it equal, essentially you're going to find just that point, not a range, but just the point. So when I subtract 2x from both sides, I now have 2x is equal to well, just 8 now, and then we divide by 2, and we get x equals 4. Oh! So if they play 4 games, 
The models are equal to each other. Wait, how Because that gives us one x. Eight divided by two is where we get the four. So working vertically, guys. I only wrote this here because of my screen. You should really drop your answer down. This is one x, and that's what we were trying to find the answer to. That's what. So you don't have to put the one, but you can. Questions on how to do this? Because I'm about to ask you to do one on your own. That's it. Oh my God. You want to isolate a single X. Check out the algebra mat, or the expression mat on the next problem. Solve that. What value makes them equal? Remember, shaded is positive, so these are all positive values. No one, no one's gonna. That's the same problem. I was waiting to see who's got their brain turned on this morning. This is the problem we just did. It's just expressed in an algebra map. Check it out, guys. This mat is the visible representation of 3 and 4x. 3 and 4x. 11 plus 2x, 11 plus 2x. So this expression mat, we could visually, if the algebra equation doesn't make 100% sense to you yet, think about this. We could physically remove an x, physically remove an x, physically remove another x. We're out of x's now, so now I start removing one tiles. I grab three, take them off, grab three, take them off. I now have two X's. So two X's makes eight. What does each X have to be for? So we could do this physically on the um, expression map. You guys, you can always get to this tool through the e-tools in CTM. Because when you're in your e-book, I wanted to remind you of this, so this is the perfect time. When you're in your e-book, down at the bottom, sorry, I don't know why I scrolled. Down at the bottom, notice where it says tools. You can always get to the different e-tools that CTM has. All right, so since that one was the exact same one we just did, take this next algebra mat and solve for x there. Can we write down 15? No, Jalen. Hmm? No. Well, yeah, this is 15. You have to write down like the number you get. We have the work from 49 because we just did it in 48. We did problem 49. I just wanted to do the algebra instead of the, the mat. This mat in 49 is the same as what we just did. This is the same mat, just with all the tiles pulled away, that we, like the first tile pulled away, 2x compared to 8. So just to remind us before we keep moving on, when we think about a solution to an equation in the bowling alley situation, can x e6, or if I ask that question differently, can we play six games? Yes. Now, is six a solution? Give me your eyes. Put your pencil down. Is six a solution to that equation that we just did? No. Because we found the solution, when we solve for x, we found out that x is 4. We're not saying that x can't be 6, but here, to solve, to make this true. Remember, we defined a solution as a value for x that makes a situation true. For this to be true, x has to be 4. If we make x 6, these just won't be equal. 
So x could be 6, but it's not a solution. Questions? All right, so on this one, you want to write out what we have in the algebra mat and then figure out what value of x makes that true, what makes it equal. So there is your mat. you got to be right. So, my first oh, no. step, Eva, would be to do what here? Nope. Not an answer. You're allowed to tell me that you don't know what you're doing, but you can't just tell me you're too tired. Yeah. It wouldn't be what I would do first, but it's absolutely allowed. I, you think differently. So, Eva said she removed 1x from both sides. So that would take my equation now. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and write this out right within my notes. Ah, now, who else thought add like terms first? You can do whichever one you want first. In my brain, I would have thought the add like terms first. So we had, if I add the like terms before I even write it down, we have 3x plus 1, right, equal to x plus 5. Um, yes. If we write down with the like terms added, that's what we have. So then Eva removed an x from both sides after lying to me that she was too tired. Yeah. Lying. Lying. Oh, my. And I'm telling you Now, <laughs> Greta, what do I do? We're back here, what can I do? Minus one, perfect. Now you know your card's already been drawn, so you can just do whatever you want. Why is it not fair? Uh, it's not absolutely. fair, go to a hot or uh, go to my hometown in September. Uh two X equals <laughs> Get it, fair. County, fair, play pigs, all that stuff. Uh, Tractor yeah, pull. Yeah. Now, Jalen, what do I do? Oh. 2x equals 4. I want just a single x. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Okay. What's x, class? 2. Can you please, on your paper, write yourself a reminder that this is the solution point? Okay, If we were to graph this, you can talk in whatever voice you want if you're learning and doing what we need to do. If we graph this, it's just the point. What? Right. If we go to graph that, if it's a graph, your solutions. Last week we had the shape, right? We had to go a direction based off what x was greater than or what x was less than. We now know what x is. That's it. Oh, so, oh, 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 o
Those inequalities make things difficult. Now, we're not done with them forever. So don't I don't really. Questions? Questions? Guys, if the computer working with algebra tiles, if that makes sense to you, if that's easier in your brain, that's fine. If you want physical algebra tiles, if that makes sense to you, that's fine. But where we need to end up is being able to write out the entire process exactly like we have on the board. Questions? You're like, just move on already. Did you do 51 yet? If not, do it. Write it out. Make it true. If you get done with that, move on to 52. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Sixth grade teachers encouraged, some didn't really teach it, was the line down the middle that divides your left and right side with what you like you gotta do it on both sides. That's a really good strategy. If I combine like terms here, that gives me an x. That gives me nothing. Combine like terms here. Wait, wait a minute. PC, what did you figure out when you went to solve this problem? It's work. It's work. Ah, x is zero. The only way this situation can be true is if the value, quote unquote, of x is zero. Now, it might be worthless, but it's better than being negative, I guess. Right? I would rather take somebody with no attitude than a bad attitude. Right, if we're just saying. So, try this. 2x plus 2 plus negative 3 equals 5x plus 8. Also, the algebra mat, by the way, if that's the strategy you like, um, fine. But once you have like 18x and 72, like, once we have big numbers, it's hard to work with an algebra mat with the big numbers. You haven't done this yet? Almost done. No work on your home? So you gotta do this? I'm waiting for you. I'm specifically waiting for you. This problem. I already got it down. You got it. You got it. No, you got it. Do it. Didn't say just write it down. Somebody puts a nice steak in front of you. You just gonna stare at it? Oh my god. No, you gotta eat it. A steak. A steak. I like steak. Okay, what do you want? Um, I would. I have a tent place and I have some chicken nuggets. So this is your plate of chicken nuggets. You're not just gonna stare at it. So eat it. Figure out the answer. Solve it. I can't eat math. There you are. You're solving math problems. Eating those chicken nuggets. Brody. What do you want me to do first? Yeah. Put like terms together. Two x plus negative one. Any like terms out here? No. What? There's no like terms. 
So that's where we get when we put like terms together or make our zeros, quote unquote. Joey, what do I do now? I can add a positive one here to make a zero, and I can add a positive one here. Ava, I have 2x equals 5x plus 9 now. What do you want me to do? Give me something. What? Okay, how many? Okay. Take away one x. Take away one x. So now hold on. I like what you said. Take away one x would get me one x on my left hand side. Why isn't that like the end? Why wouldn't that be the way to the finish line? Brandon? Because it's x equals four to twelve. So we could write out that x is. 4x plus 9, like if I take away x from both sides, that doesn't really make sense. Like that mathematically, I can do that, but that's not really what I want to do. I want to put my x's together, right? So Jalen said take away 2x, which I can. Remember, I can do anything. Yeah, probably. Uh, but that leaves 0x over here. And that's not what I want either. So the best, although I can do everything people just said. What? I'm good. The best option. Adrian? Interesting. So if 0 equals 3x plus 9, so Adrian's telling me essentially if I go minus 2x minus 2x, I get 0 equals 3x plus 9. This has to be negative 9, right? Are we with Adrian's brain? Are we in his head with him? No. So if, for this to be 0, this has to be negative 9. Now I agree, but check this out. You're 100% you're right. You have the right answer. But what if up here, guys, give me your eyes for a second. Put those pencils down. I have variable term, variable term, constant term. I want to put my types of numbers, my types of terms together. So get rid of this over here, because right now this side is mixed. That then gives me negative 3x, which is okay. I'm allowed to do that equals 9. Oh, you're allowed to do that? Then, to get to the final answer, you get rid of the negative 3 by dividing. Now, what's a positive divided by a negative? A negative, and that's x equals negative 3. And that's another way to get to Adrian's correct answer. Math all day. Wow. Whoa, I couldn't have that. All right, now I want to do some magic. I want to do some magic. Shh. Everyone, write down, like draw a little squiggly, write down x equals and pick a number. Now, I'm, I'm going to warn you, don't pick a crazy number, so I'm going to ask you to do some math with this. I'm going to blow your mind. Pick, pick a single digit number, probably, if I, if I were to advise you. Now, hold up. Add 20 to your number. Write down your new number. Add 20 to your number. Write down. Then, multiply by 2. Double it. So you had a number, you added 20, now you're doubling. 
This is why I told you don't do a crazy number. Wait, doubling the number. Yeah, doubling the new. Yeah. So now your new. So I have a number. Let's say seven because it's a fun number. I add twenty. My number now becomes twenty-seven. Then I'm gonna double it. My number now becomes fifty-four. Now subtract thirty. Now, like, subtract your 30, <laughs> divide by 2. Wait, that's what? 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 That's Wait, stop, you're doing one of those one things where Mr. Wait. Hudson, ew! I got four. Work on your homework. I got four. I got four. If you did it right, you'll get five. I got that. I got five. No matter what number you started with, you'll get five. You did something wrong. So check it. You may start working on your homework, or if your mind's blown, give me your attention. Alright, I'm going to do this a couple times. If I start with seven, I add 20, I end up at 27. I double, I get 54. I subtract 30, I get 24. I divide by 2, I get 12. And I subtract my original number, I get 5. Hold up. If I start with 3, I add 20. I get 23. I double. I get 46. I subtract 30. I get 16. I divide by 2. I get 13. Or sorry, what? I'm lost now. Hold on. Subtract 30. Divide by 2. Uh, 8. And then subtract my original number. I get 5. If I start with 13. You're either working on your homework or you're picking up the pieces of your brain, Ethan and I. Ethan, you said you want to start with 13? Start with 13, add 20. Right, so 33. Multiply my answer by 2. So, 66. Okay, my smart word's broken. 66. Um, subtract 30. So, 36. Right, divide by 2. 15, 18, subtract my original number. Whoa. I just said that was 100. So, back in the day, this magician whose identity was like secret would come out and, um, as, like, I used to watch magic specials. I'm, I'm honest with you guys, I was a nerd. I was like a lame kid that liked magic. Um, which, which is more power to you, like, just be cool with what you like. Um, so, unfortunately, I never learned a lot of magic. I drove one really good car trip. Um, but, he would come out and he would, like, he wouldn't ever talk. I heard if you talked to him, he had, like, little signs that told you what to do. But, he did something like this during a magic show, and, like, blew my mind, and then he did it again on a different magic show, and did it differently, blew my mind, and then I eventually realized, it's just mad. All he did was make an equation and know the solution to it. So this equation, watch. Pick a number. Add 20. Multiply by 2. Right? Multiply the whole thing by 2. Then subtract 30. Then divide by 2. 
then subtract your original number, and you will get five. Like, or sorry, the x becomes five. So all you did was build this. It's math. Uh, you still have three to four minutes. You could easily get a question or two done in that time. Yeah. You're probably right because of multiplication and the division and stuff like that. Are you, did you double check it to like really make sure it doesn't work? Okay. I will believe you then since you double checked it. Oh. You like to report a crime. Is the crime that you're not spending this time to work on your homework? Uh, well, that one was because I already asked you to do your homework. Um, and the other one is just a true statement because I do math better than you because I have more practice. So, but, now, all of that to say, you can get better than me, I just have the extra practice that you don't get. Yeah, but if you do, then you can come back and roast me in math. Goals. That's not my name. So, that's very math teacher. We got about a minute left. Those of you using this time to work on your homework, I appreciate it. Those of you who aren't, I'm paying attention because most of you are the ones who are also behind and in math by missing assignments. I don't have any more. Is that me? All right, back up, head out. Have a great day, guys.